best argument is that physical, the physical antecedent for gas pressure is a container, right? Because the gas pressure would fill the available space, second law of thermodynamics, entropy increases. So if we actually had an atmosphere next to vacuum, it would fill the available space. It's where people just blindly throw out the word gravity, even well, though so they don't even have a theory that works, and it, it wouldn't explain it anyway. Is, but if gravity it, worked, uh, you would have to admit that an atmosphere would be possible, right? No, not next to a vacuum. It violates the second law of thermodynamics. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, because how do we no, have a pressure as, system? You're right. Because uh, they don't, the, the Tor uh, measurement of vacuum in space, they don't know whether it's 10 to the minus 6 or 10 to the minus 17. They have no way to measure it. So if it's 10 to the minus 6, we're safe. The atmosphere is not going to be sucked out. If it was 10 to the minus 17, yeah, the well, atmosphere would be sucked out. But that means both your theory and my theory would be wrong. Well, there's wait, 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 I think on. there's something contained. Why, why can't they measure it? Couldn't you? Uh, they can't get an exact figure. They know it's between... If we had if we had six. consistent access to Mars, could you? If we what had consistent access to Mars, Mars, I don't think would have anything to do with it. Well, you're opinion. two different uh, uh, gravitational bodies giving yeah, us you're a reference talking about outer space, right? And What's so, the vacuum in outer space. So, uh, if Mars can't maintain a, an atmosphere the size of Earth, due to, what, yes, what? he's saying if you were able to like kind of sit on Mars and make more like calibrated measurements. What's What's the rate at which the atmosphere dissipates from Mars if it can't maintain, or the, or the Moon, or something? Well, it's a lot more because it has less gravity. Right. So then you could measure the the uh, the baseline by which what is the what is the uh, what what is the amount of mass required to sustain an, uh, an atmosphere. You could then determine. If it's not going to hold it because the vacuum yeah. is pulling on it, you could maybe, but I'm just telling you what the books say. Mm. And, and the, ga the gas yeah. pressure would the gas pressure need the way that we actually even do the equation for gas pressure is a physical a physical barrier because pressure is the energy or force exerted on the walls of a container. So you need to even have pressure to even invoke pressure. It presses on the walls of a container. So the, real, real quick, sorry. Um, the 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 presumption of why the Earth has an atmosphere is because the gravity is holding this right. matter to the Earth. Yes. Yeah. And for Mars, there is not enough. The gravity is weaker, right. so the, the atmosphere is much thinner because it can't hold as much. And that's why Saturn the gravity and Jupiter weaker. have a much thicker atmosphere yeah. because more gravity. But, but gas disperses in all directions on the surface where gravity so would be the strongest, right? Like gas goes in all directions. You can't just have a vacuum next to a gas pressure on the surface. Gravity is the strongest here. So that's the, the modern model just isn't true. It, it defies physics. And I'm waiting for an answer to that. If I gravity mean, is the strongest at the surface... The atmosphere it, is a gradient, and, and I've got a simulation that I programmed myself that's on my channel that shows a simulated planet with gravity holding onto an atmosphere. And yeah, it's a gradient. As you go further out, it goes closer. Yeah, air gets thinner. Air gets thinner. Sure. Simulation. Air gets thinner the higher you go. That's why people die on a Mount Everest. Yeah, there's definitely a gradient. Hydrogen that escapes out into outer space because it's just too light right. for the gravity to oh, so, so gravity but picks it, and chooses between some no, of the No, it's gas. because the hydrogen is lighter than helium. But is, why does all the hydrogen not leave? Because we have enough gravity that it has to seep out slowly. That's the pick and choose, and in the no, it's not picking and choosing. That's the physics of my it. My question really is: Does get we all agree gas disperses in all directions, right? So like what? Okay, so gravity's not actually pulling the gra the air down as you're claiming to where it keeps it next to a vacuum. It disperses in all directions where gravity is the strongest. Thanks for watching this clip from the Culture War podcast. We're live every Friday, 10 a.m. to noon. So subscribe and come hang out.